How do you create unforgettable words? How do you craft convincing characters or establish unique settings and plots? One great way to do this is with set design. Set design plays a decisive role in materializing the film's concept. The scene sense of when and where is created by the architectural design, particularly the furniture's props and textile patterns. Physical space responsible for informing the audience of the locations and time the film scene take place, and is also defined the setting looks and feel extensive or narrow, hectic or empty, realistic or dreamlike. This overall look and feel of the set is complete with ready use of color applied on the scenery, backdrop, and furniture of the scene. Manipulating these three visual elements, the production designers, art directors, and set decorators can bring to life the latent philosophy of the film and its directors, which in this video I say is existentialism. Existentialism is the philosophy of existence that is oriented toward the ideas of individual identities, death and life, and finding purpose or meaning in our own life. Existentialism seeks to answer the questions humans have been asking for centuries. Why I am here? What does my life mean? Or what significant is death to me? Within the cinematic world, Existentialism is among those that allude to a confusing struggle to discover personal meaning in an observed world that presents no trait of it on its own. The concept is prominently depicted in Iranian cinema, where it dominates the filmographies of the leading figure, Abbas Kiarostami. The Iranian directors has accrued universal attention for its atypical cinematic style with artistic blending of fictions and documentaries. He also appealed to viewers with unconventional cinematic techniques such as scene shots in cars, long panoramic shots, intimate close-ups, and realistic diegetic scenes. In particular, most of Kuro's Tami masterpieces often mobilize natural landscapes and Iranian vernacular architectures at the cardinal set design. By analyzing distinctive set designs in the wind wheel carriers, Taste of Cherry, and Life Goes On, we can see how they thoroughly reflect three facets of existentialism, which are individual identities, life and death, and lastly, searching for life's purpose. In the wind wheel carriers, the philosophy is expressed as the central characters, the Z, contemplates his identities and purpose in life in the face of the world's largeness through the use of props and physical landscape. The scene where he is carrying on the vehicle is set in the spacious wood field with rippling golden crops. Using a small rusty motorbike as a prop and the real set of a large fresh area vary in size and conditions. The set design creates a just the positions that conveys the fertility of man to the world. Third, trapping Bazette in the existential questions of why I am here and do I matter. The village in ruins coaxes him in the countryside and stands as an image of social and spiritual desolations, highlighting the sense of loneliness. Besides, the choice of yellow hues for the physical space of the fields is also reminiscent of Van Gogh's Whitfield series. The artwork is known for encouraging suffering people to find solace in the beauties of present, rather than in the downsides of life. Hence, Bazaz finds a new life purpose by contemplating human existence, which liberates him from the norm of a goal-oriented life to savor the beauties along the way, through a camera used to document memories in the end. Within Taste of Cherry, existentialism is reflected through the conflicted themes of life and death to a car, an excavator, and the use of colors in the set design. On the journeys to find the person to bury him after committing suicide, Mr. Betty is shown through his car windshield, which serves as a view to conceal his profile inner landscapes. As the sunlight reflects off the windshield's glass and obscures the driver from view, Mr. Betty cannot see the view between him and a more optimistic worldview. Therefore, he keeps diving deeper into his depressions driving him to an eternal dilemma of existence, longing to leave the conscious world behind, 
yet continue living in the minds of those who remain. This dilemma is special when the excavator buries Earth in the shadows of Mr. Betty. And Betty is fictional scenario of him being buried when he died. Well, the varying shades of brown and beige of the exterior and interior design of the car display lifelessness and impending death, white homes and lush greenery in the new area surrounding the automobile signify a welcoming world. This contrast of color palettes suggests a harmony for the seemingly contradictory natures of death and life, making Kia Rostami obsessions with the coexistence of the two themes even more explicit. And Life Goes On is set in the Kuka regions and made in the aftermath of the 1990 earthquake in Iran. In the film, Existentialism is manifested through the contrast of physical space between the majestic natures and the ruins of a demolished house caused by the intense quake. Within the film, the quake is neither displayed on screen nor implied off screen, but permeates the very fabric of the image, tearing it apart from the inside, which illustrates through the ruins, debris, and wreckage located in the set design. In Iranian literatures, Breakages, abandoned houses, and partially demolished structures are metaphors for depressions, desolations, and loneliness. In place of depicting losses and depressions, Kia Rostami has chosen these ruins with greenery and natural landscape as the background to lessen these feelings and accentuate the desire for living. Even though 50,000 people had died, trees were still standing as they had been before and death were merely a tiny dot, like a mole on the face of a living person. In this set design, the demolitions imply sorrow, and the rejuvenating natures conveys the effort of making new life and the fact that life still goes on, no matter how exceedingly it crumbles. This physical space also illustrates a contrast between losses and hopes, and also sets the people to rejoice lives again. With the efficient employments of set design, Abbas Kiarostami's cinema vividly narrates to the audience with existential themes of individual identities, life and death, and searching for life's purpose. Set against its apparent simplicity was something highly sophisticated. Consequently, each work of Kiarostami is the wonders of cinematic space and architectural imagery.